worldwide, the construction industry is consolidating. So, uh, and, and all of the international players are coming to Canada specifically because we're seen as having a very healthy market. So we've got too many players in the world and we've got too many in Canada. So naturally there's going to be a consolidation. Some won't make it, others will be purchased, others will just disappear and some will wind down. But way fewer companies five, ten years from now globally than there are now. Each of the, the, the people that we see coming in from different continents have their own strengths and therefore they're a different kind of threat to the traditional Canadian contractor. The Americans build really not dissimilarly from Canadians, but much more aggressively. They're much better marketers. They seem to be just much more energetic. Canadians are very humble, sometimes too humble. The Europeans are big, large companies with broad capabilities to finance, to facility manage, to design. They do their own and price their own subtrade work. And of course, everybody is worried about the, the, uh, the Chinese. They're coming and they're low, low cost. And how do we compete with that? And very, very efficient. So all sorts of different kinds of threats all coming to Canada right now. Our labor legislation was mostly across Canada put into place 40 years ago for a world that does not exist anymore. So the new international competitors come in. It's easy to get around that legislation because it's not relevant anymore. But if you're an old-fashioned construction contractor like Ellis Don, you're stuck with all that legislation and the unions they could adapt and change and, and embrace these new, uh, these new players, but they, they just can't make themselves do it. They will not change. It, it's uh, frustrating. Subcontractors used to stay in a subcontractor's box. We used to be the general. The architect used to be the architect. Now the engineering firms are coming into our space. We're going into the subtrade space. The subtrades are coming into our space. So all the traditional relationships are breaking down, and it's not clear how they're going to be restructured. It's, in, it's very interesting. It's threatening for everybody. Everybody has to deal with each other honestly and carefully because all the old rules don't apply anymore. We really need to be careful how we're designing our buildings because nobody knows what the new technology is, is going to bring, how those buildings are run, but mostly how the people in those buildings work and communicate with each other. John Chambers from Cisco Systems said we'll be meeting with avatars within 10 years. So there'll be a, an image of somebody for, that's in Calgary meeting with you in, in Toronto. Your, the shape of your room as well as all your systems is going to have to accommodate that. We're designing those buildings now. We don't. Nobody's thinking about that. So these are issues we need to be thinking about right now. This is about how people communicate with each other. So everybody thinks uh, websites, but nobody goes to the website so much anymore. Everybody is on the social media, and specifically they see more, less Facebook these days. Even my kids are less, less Facebook and more Twitter. But Twitter, people don't understand it, people my age, that it's a business communication and marketing tool with huge capability. So if you're not playing and aware of what's going on there, you're missing a huge part and of course it's only going to change more. If your company isn't really embracing those tools, then you won't be able to recruit. And these companies specifically that say we need to block Facebook and we need to block social media because it stops young people from doing their jobs, forget it. Bring it on. It's there anyway whether you know it or not, on their cell phones everywhere. You want young people to come to your company, you better be embracing this social media.